What is up everybody? Welcome back to Crucial Farms. My name is Patrick and in today's video we are going to tackle another bonsai problem. Over the winter I had a pot crack. It has cracked all the way through and it is a tree that I just planted this past year so it is too young for me to want to repot it right now. I probably could. I also probably could go find the exact same pot somewhere or at least the exact same dimensions because it has some inside curves and it would just fit in it. But instead of that, I got some epoxy and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to fix a pot, save yourself some money, and well, save your tree as well. So let's go ahead and get on with it. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that like button, and well, I can do more of them then. <laughs> let's go. So I am going to just place my camera right about here. I've already marked it on my bench where to put it. You could see from the picture in the beginning that the of the uh, the picture of the pot, but here you go. Here's a nice little view real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and take Mr. Zebra out and we will just go ahead and place him back over here for now. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill this crack on this side. I'm gonna fill it on the other side. I'm not gonna worry about the bottom. I'm just gonna fill the two sides and then I'm going to take this zip tie here, the zip tie, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it around the outside, zip tie it, and lead the zip tie on until the epoxy has had a full amount of time to cure, which, well, it sets in five minutes, it cures in, it sets in five minutes and it cures in an hour. And this is JB Weld, let me get this, Clear Weld, quick setting epoxy. Now the reason I chose this one is because it says porcelain, it says tile, it says clay pottery, it says plastic, wood, all of that. So this is a pottery here. I, I believe it's clay. It's almost like a terracotta it looks like inside as well. But because of these inside curves, it curves in some here, there was too much moisture in the pot so it expanded when it froze and it cracked my pot. So not anymore. We're going to go ahead and fix that right now. Let's get right down to it. Now, first things first, well, let me get my chair here. And let's make sure you can see everything you can. I'm going to go ahead and get my rubber gloves on. Uh, I've went ahead also, uh, I've clamped down my mat here so that nothing's gonna slide on me. We just don't want that happening. And I'm going to try to keep the bonsai tree, the crack in frame as much as I can to try to fill the crack. Now it's clear and I don't, I'm not really gonna mind if there's, you know, overage. I'm just going to get it glued back together. That's the point. So, yeah, take our two part epoxy here, take the cap off and go ahead and squeeze out two equal amounts. It does that for you. That's probably gonna be more than I need. I'm gonna pull back the plungers just a little. It'll suck that back in. If you get a little air, doesn't matter. And make sure to lock the lid back in place and this can still be used. Now we take our, it came with a, it came with a little uh, like tongue depressor, but it was mini. It was like six toothpicks wide. So I'll go ahead and uh, use my, these tongue compressors that I bought. And so the plan is, is to mix this well, and then basically sp scrape it into the crack, put the zip tie on, tighten the zip tie, that should squeeze glue out of the cracks try to scrape off all the excess I can, and we'll be good to go. So that's definitely fully mixed now, for sure. Let's scrape it up just to make sure. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is go ahead and get out a flat line, and I'm gonna go ahead and scrape over and across, and get me just a little dollop. Now first, I'm gonna go ahead and go back here, and see what I can do. If we just get a little bit on the side of the stick, it'll actually fit in the crack. 
down all the way up. There we go, we got a good bit in there. Now we'll take it over here. You have to work quickly with epoxies just because it is, you know, five minutes to cure. So we'll just smoosh it right against. And you can see it's filling that crack. Epoxy is just a really fantastic tool to use. Now someone would ask, perhaps, will this, will the chemicals in this harm my tree? Now, I don't know that for sure. I'm gonna say perhaps, but I am not, I'm not gonna water the tree right after. It cures in an hour and it's gonna be set up. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say that it's gonna be fine. Let me move this sheet right here so I can try to get a lot more on the back side and in the crack. Okay, the back side definitely looks a lot worse than the front, <laughs> but that's gonna be no problem. Let's get just a little bit more in this back side here. There we go, perfect. Make sure to put this here, checking the hands that nothing's on it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the zip tie now, put it right around. Now the zip tie probably might get stuck in, in, oh, that worked out uh, better than I could have imagined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hands, well, of course my hands, I don't have anybody else's hands, but to go ahead and uh, slide up to keep it more, it more around the middle and use my hands to center the pot and tighten and tighten. Now, I think, Let's have a look here. Okay, we'll get down in here and you can see all the glue has squeezed out and I've actually been able, I've actually been able here to go ahead and adjust the pot in a way. I'm gonna go ahead and cinch it up a little bit more, but I've been able to actually get the pot almost correctly right back where it was. So we'll use our little stick here and I'm just gonna try to squeeze off all the excess I can with a clean stick. As you can see, it does dry clear. And I wanted clear, I didn't want white, I didn't want a different, let's see if we can match that up even better. That's beautiful. The back side, let's go ahead and scrape this one off. They had a few different colors, like I think it had black and white, but clear is what I wanted only because I want to be able to see the crack. Now I know that it'll probably glue to this uh, zip tie like I said, and that's fine. The zip tie would be much easier to remove than let's say a rubber band would have been. I'm almost done scraping the back side, sorry about the camera angle, but the back looks just like the front, so know that. <laughs> All right, and let's do this. And lower that down there, and that there. And that there is a, is a nicely fixed pot. We're gonna say, we're gonna call this done. Let's scrape it off, it does dry clear. It does dry very clear, I'm really liking that. Dropped a rock out there. <laughs> So yes, as you can see, the pot is good. Let me go around the back side and show you guys what that looks like. Here's the back side that'll adjust. The crack is almost, almost invisible, but it should fix it very, very, very well. It's going to, it's definitely going to fix the pot. And the main thing it's going to do for me is it's going to save my pot so that my tree will make it. Because the, if, the, if the end of the pot fell off and all the dirt fell out of that end, it would just slowly start to go that way with rain and, you know, waterings and such. And I just, you know, I really like this pot. Well, as I was saying, the camera decided to cut off on me. I need a new camera. So I don't know if you heard that or not. I continue to talk. I thought I heard it beep. But anyway, I really like this pot. So I'm happy that I was able to somewhat save it. Like I said, the crack will still be very visible 
which I wanted because that will like show its life. Someone can say, oh, there's a crack here. I go, oh, I know. And I've, I epoxied it, I fixed it. So yeah, we'll go ahead and now we can put Mr. Zebra back up there. And uh, let me get my, get this board here. So we can take a couple last little looks at it. And I'll get rid of this epoxy in a minute, but there it is. And eventually once that cures, I'll take the, uh, I'll probably just go ahead and wait till tomorrow. It says wait about an hour, but I'm gonna just wait till tomorrow and then I'll snip that, uh, snip that uh, zip tie right off of there and we'll be good to go. So, well, my light's blinking. So you know what that means, it's time to charge some batteries. And uh, yeah, so thank you for coming and watching this video, this quick video on how to fix a bonsai pot if you have a, you know, I'd call it a small minor crack. Uh, if you're, if it's cracked down the middle or directly under the tree, I would definitely try to change the pot. Uh, I got kind of lucky that mine's off to the side. But yeah, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see, uh, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.